I think the community response is very different when it is a female defendant versus a male defendant. Alana Kynes has followed many sexual assault cases through the courts. A good majority of the accused have been men. From what she's seen, she says the perceptions we have of each defendant is not always based off of what is true, but more often, she says, our own prior beliefs. Boys often are seen as less vulnerable than girls. Um, when in a school setting, they can be equally vulnerable as girls. Another myth. Kindness says people who are attractive don't need to take advantage of their position to coerce someone into having sex. She says that's just not true. But while some in the community may perceive Brianna Altice one way, Kindness says from what she's seen, the courts have remained neutral. Altice is now facing more than a dozen felony counts, including rape and sexual abuse. Prosecutors say Altice had sex with a 17-year-old after her arrest in October 2013. She already pleaded not guilty to the previous charges. Her case now goes to trial. She's not a danger. She's harmless. Altice now waits in jail, but the court's view may change, Kaina says, if it goes to a jury. I do think you may see some of those biases come out when the, if the cases go before a jury.